In this video, I'm going to discuss about USB to UART converters. There are three very common USB to UART converters in the market. The prolific, the FTDI, and the Silicon Labs. This is the one from prolific. The part number is PL2303. And you will see that there are many pins exposed on the sides. So we can use that on our applications. I bought this one from a local store. This is the one from FTDI. The part number is FT232RL. This is my favorite among the three very popular USB TWART converters. And as you see, I put a female header here for applications that would require a female header. Then I also have a male header on top. The other one is you can select between 5 volts and 3 volts operation via this jumper. Last but not the least is this CP2102 from Silicon Labs. As you see, there are also pins available for us on our application and the USB connector is actually attached on the board. So it's very handy like if you will use it for your Raspberry Pi project. These are the five very important pins on our USB to UART converter. Ground is very straightforward because you just need to put it on the ground. The TX and the RX as well because you just need to put it on the respective pair. However, the BCC and the DTR are critical. The VCC is usually 5 volts or 3.3 volts. Depending on the application, you might need to choose one between these two. So that's why this is very good because you can select using this jumper wire. I mean this jumper, you know, this jumper, jumper accessory. Why the DTR is important? It is important because we use that on programming our Arduino. This is an Arduino Pro Mini and as you see, the last pin here is the DTR. The DTR is used to automatically reset the Arduino during programming. It, it goes through this capacitor. From DTR, it goes through this capacitor going to the reset. That avoids us to manually press the reset during the programming of our Arduino. I hope this video is informative and helpful to you. If you like more, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.